25 days of vlogmas and I woke up to no power. So as you can see, my house is dark. They didn't turn the power off. So therefore, hopefully they get it back on before it get dark. I'm about to sit down with it. And y'all see I'm still babysitting. So this is just still a typical day in my life. Sit down. Put that down. Drink your drink. Everybody getting up, getting something to eat this morning. And uh, I got a hair appointment in a couple of hours. So I'm going to go ahead and get them squared away. So the hair appointment goes smooth. Here go your sandwich. You can eat it right down that bench. Since you're not a baby, you can sit on the bench. But <clears throat> good morning. I'll tune y'all back in a little later once I get my day started. Once I get into that hair appointment, I'll show y'all that. Okay. <laughs> Brandon, don't say that. Ooh, can you get that on there? What? Hey y'all, welcome back. It's my honey Smacks and it's Vlogmas Day 2. And your girl is in here doing my work. I'm doing my work and I'm babysitting and I'm doing hair. Y'all know how I do. I pretty much do this every day. That's my livelihood. That's how I make my money. Aside from my online website and my content creating. So pretty much, I got on here today just to tell y'all a little bit about why I'm moving. Because a lot of people just wanted to know, why are you relocating? But pretty much, um, when I went to renew my lease this time, I had a non-renewal. Which means that I was ineligible to renew my lease. And when I demanded an explanation, they referred me to the Alabama law that you can non renew people lease and not tell them why. And so that's why. And so I'm left to guess and think. And the only thing I can say is the trap was just jumping too hard in this luxury apartment and they weren't feeling it. And like a year ago, I made a TikTok at my apartment complex that went viral and they asked me to take it down. And so, you know, and then this is a non-smoking apartment and I definitely had to pay. So it was just a lot of things. And then my fiance lived with me and he never was on the lease the whole two years I stayed in these apartments. So at the end of the day, it could be everything combined or just one thing. It could have been complaints from neighbors. I just don't know. But you know, everything, sometimes when one door closed, another one open. And so y'all yeah, know I had an eviction on my record. So I really didn't have many options when moving. Because a lot of people kept on denying me. And so with that being said, I really just don't know why but i'm glad i'm glad that i'm moving i'm glad that i'm moving on building bigger and better things my new apartment is actually cheaper so what i decided was what the money that i would be putting towards the rent here if i was still staying here because i'm at my old apartment now i got both apartments pretty much i got both of the apartments because my new apartment let me move in immediately but this lease wasn't up yet so i just can go between both houses if I want to and do it like that. So that's what I've been doing. And I really had three because I had an Airbnb, but I had to let that go because I got evicted from there because I ain't paid the rent. But I went finna pay the rent on that um, Airbnb because the lady had let it get roach and rat infested. And so, you know, if I had to pay the rent there, I would have been stuck there. So it's a good thing I didn't pay the rent and I did get evicted because it would no longer. With her letting the place get infested, she stayed there for about almost a year, a little under a year. She let that place get so infested that it no longer could be used for business anyway. And the kicker is, we didn't even know that she had let it get infested before we got evicted. We didn't know nothing about the infestation. So supposing we had to pay that rent and then the place was infested. And then there you go. We stuck with a place that we can no longer make money with, and we just stuck with it. So it was a good thing we got kicked out of that apartment. Um, and so now we're just down to two apartments, and in three day, two days, we'll be losing this one, the one that I'm in now. So tomorrow we're going to move out of here for good. 
We took the main stuff to the house, but the big stuff, like the beds, the dressers, we still got to move. And y'all see, I'm over here working, so I do babysit and do hair out of my old house still. And I just um, live out my new house. So that's pretty much what I'm doing at the, um, that's pretty much why I'm here at the old house right now. But yeah, y'all, it's just been a lot going on, honey. And then the other day, I done got on TikTok and Google because I kept having recurrent issues. Y'all, I done diagnosed myself with diabetes, honey. I thought I had diabetes. I'm in there on Google, TikTok, crying. I done went to the doctor. Welcome back. It's my honey Smacks. And as you can see, I'm not doing too good today. So, we here at the American Family Kill. And I've been noticing some things off with my health. So, I'm stressed out because I done been on Google. And so, I'm just coming in here to confirm if what I, everything I read on Google is correct. Because me, I always diagnose myself before I even make it to the doctor. And because I do extensive research. And then, the doctor usually just confirms everything that I read. And I even do that for my friends and stuff. If something's going on, Google all the stuff. I be like, you got this. Every time I go to the doctor, they be like, you got this. So, these little forums and stuff on Google don't miss. But today, I am hoping for my sake that <laughs> it's a miss. I'm looking a little rough because I was just chilling at the house. And someone was just telling me something off to me. Something is not right. Like, the things that you have been experiencing is not your normal self. So I said, I done looked it up before, but I ain't never take it serious. But for some reason today, I just sat there and I'm like, I got to I gotta do some research. I got to find out what is going on with me, what's going on with my body. And lo and behold, um, I got to doing some research and my findings were really alarming. And that's why I'm here at the Miracle Family Kill now. I don't have insurance, but hopefully they don't charge too much for what we're going to do today. So, yeah, I'm going to go into detail when I come out of here. I ain't going to go into detail now um, on what's been going on with me. But I'm going to just take y'all on this health journey with me. Up until this point, I've been a pretty um, healthy person. I have real bad allergies. That's been my ailment for forever. I feel like everybody got to deal with something unless you're just normal. And mine is chronic allergies. I'm blowing my nose, sneezing asthma all day every day 365 24 7. that's just something that i had to learn to live with but hopefully i ain't gotta learn to live with nothing else so we finna go in here and see i'm trying to get out the um thing and of course y'all know brandon right here by my side brandon how you feel about it it's good are you stressed out i really mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Baby, said, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just need an antibiotic and you'll be good. So, baby, I thought I was going to have to stick myself with the needle. I didn't order the glucose test. I didn't went to the urgent care. Don't ever get on Google and TikTok to look up your symptoms or to diagnose yourself. Because I went through all that unnecessary turmoil for nothing. I am still going to make healthy lifestyle changes because when I did do the research, I did realize that I am personally at an increased risk for diabetes because of my PCOS. Most women with PCOS get diabetes by age 40. So we're going to curb that by eating healthy and exercising. So that's what I'm planning on doing. But y'all, I had not diagnosed myself and pretty much, cause one thing about me, if I Google it and do my research before I go to the doctor, nine times out of 10, I done already diagnosed myself and it'd be correct. So this was one instance where I was actually wrong. But I had already just counted like, yeah, this your life now. You finna have to do this, that, and the other. But since um, it was inaccurate, this is my first time I was inaccurate, thank God. Because, baby, I was too sad. So, and I was in Tuscaloosa, so Brandon had to take me to the doctor and everything. He came, 
Y'all know he gonna come through for me every time. If ain't nobody else gonna be there. He gonna be there. And so, um, today we got we brought some fish back from Tuscaloosa because we always take some of his mama fish from her house. We take her fish and we bring it back home and we eat it. And we take her other food sometimes too. But she let us get it. She don't mind too much. And also, today Georgia playing Alabama. And since Georgia the number one team, you best believe that I, I prefer Alabama over Georgia, but I really think Georgia going to get this one. For some reason, I just feel like Georgia going to win today. And I um I watched the Super Bowl at my, I mean the Iron Bowl at Maya House. And so I watched the Alabama game versus Auburn. They said Alabama was cheating, so mm -hmm. I don't know how legit that win was. Cause that game was crazy. But me personally, I think that football is dangerous to play. I'm not a big fan of it. I've watched people fall on their head just to catch their ball. They will risk having a concussion rather than miss their ball. They run into each other very violently. And them some big old men to be running into each other. So it really just be looking painful to me. And I don't think... I finally saw one girl online who see it the way I see it. Because you know everybody else just love it so much. I feel like they become desensitized that these are actually people out here, 200 pound men running into each other and just knocking each other down. So I see the game different than other people, I believe, or different than most people. And so to me, it looked dangerous. And like, I don't know even know if I'm with my child out there because baby, I'd be out there with them because heck no. So I don't know how my child going to do sports. If they want to do them, they can do them, but I'm going to be sad too when they be getting knocked over and push down because I don't think I don't, I don't like that I don't even like looking at it and one thing about me I watch a game on the TV but it ain't nothing like being at a game in person you gonna really catch my attention for the day. I had to go to Cabin and get me something to eat real quick because I done woke up in the apartment and got no power. Oh, baby, don't ever do that because I really wanted to call up there. I'm talking about it drizzle. How did the drizzle knock the power out? Now I'm over here at my old apartment doing hell when I could have been in my house. My new house. But it's all good. I'm here and I'm getting it done. And I am babysitting again today. So I got, mm, I think like tomorrow three families. I don't know. I don't know if I'm babysitting tomorrow. But I got like three families I got to babysit for today. <laughs> So Renzo here already. Renzo, what you doing? Nothing. Renzo not doing nothing. And um, oh, he playing this uh, iPad game. It must be Roblox. Yeah. They love it, Roblox. I'm but yeah, I'm just doing hair. I went to Kevin, got me something to eat. And I, I was mad it. because nothing went open when I was trying to go get breakfast. Mm. I don't like breakfast food. So when I'm trying to look for food at 10 a.m., I be mad. I really be mad. Because I don't like to spend my money on food that I don't really like that much. And breakfast is not something that I just like that much. Y'all tell me, I'm a foodie. I like real food. Breakfast is like play food. It's so light and sweet and stuff. I want to get Play-Doh for a Christmas too. But y'all, when I... um. You know, this is my first time doing Blockman, so I'm going to see how it goes and how I like it. If y'all got any tips or suggestions, just let me know because your girl needs some ideas. I was going to have a um, game day watch party today, but it's too last minute, so I just decided against that. And instead, I'm going to do my Christmas decor. So hopefully, we are able to... um. 
decorate for Christmas. And y'all can see me decorating and stuff. We normally deck it out, y'all. And normally we have like a wide theme. This time I want to pick colors. Maybe like a pink and gold or a white and gold. You know, I want to have a color theme. Usually it's just all over the place when I do my Christmas decorations. And this time I want to make it more uniform. So I'm going to see how, I'm interested to see how I pull that off this time. What's a good color? I'm thinking gold and white. Gold and white. Gold and white would be good. And I should be able to find enough decorations, those colors, to do a whole setup with. But we usually go all out. Y'all know how we do. If you don't, look at my um, Christmas decorations from last year. Like, we did our thing. And I love being able to bond over putting up Christmas stuff. Just really get you in the spirit. And I really sat back and thought about it this time and i really do want my christmas to be um i really want to take this time and enjoy christmas i don't want to work through the whole christmas and feel like i blew past it and didn't really get to you know enjoy it because a lot of times i'm work work working so i don't want to do that this time so y'all just stick with me and we gonna see i'm doing hair right now i'm doing these passion twists they like back length Y'all yeah, know I have to go on here and get my work out the way. And it's Saturday. And I'm not an early morning person. So I start, on Saturdays, I usually start doing hair around 11. Monday through Friday, I start at 9. But Monday through Friday, a lot of folks got to go to school and work. So I be having to wait till they get done in order to start my day doing hair. And that's what make me work the second shift is when I do people have who working people or who's school, enrolled in school. So it's a nice Saturday. And then y'all, I'm on an um, antibiotic, so I can't even drink right now. I cannot drink nothing. No alcohol. I really, I'm really trying to get in the gym, y'all. I ain't make it yesterday. I told y'all these 25 days. Ooh. Your girl dropping 10 pounds. I'm speaking it into existence. So, I'm going to try to get in there today. We are not going to just keep letting the days pass in without getting in that gym. You can't go to the gym today. What? In the gym? No, the power. Jayla just called me. Oh, is that Yes, my friend just called me and told me to power back on. You know we can't spend the night over here, though, right? Yeah, because I got to babysit them kids again. I, um, so basically, let me get, go and give y'all a rundown so y'all won't be lost. Basically, I'm in the process of moving. So I got my other apartment a month early, and it wasn't time to move out of this one. So pretty much for a month, I've had two apartments to go back in between. Three. So, huh? Three. I've had three. Three. Because we had an Airbnb. The bitch was dirty, and she didn't let rats and roaches get in. Rats and roaches. So, we got evicted out that apartment. Thank God we got evicted. Because once you get rats and roaches in an apartment, you can no longer Airbnb that apartment out or do no kind of... It's other things besides Airbnb just like Airbnb, like Verbo. You can't put nothing on there that's infested. So, imagine we hadn't got evicted. Baby! <laughs> Them folks would be calling and complaining the first time they saw a roach. And that Airbnb would have got shut down. So pretty much, you know, it was just a blessing in disguise not being able to pay the rent over there and getting evicted because when we were trying to pay it, she was still living there and we didn't know. Hey, Renzo, when we was trying to um, pay it, we didn't know how bad she had let the place get. So imagine we had played, paid the bills and once she moved out, we seen that it had a rat in it. I'm talking about the rat going crazy, y'all. It's flipping around and everything. So, with that being said, yeah. That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to have that Airbnb on the south side of Huntsville anymore. We're going to actually start over with the new Airbnb. We're replacing much of the furniture because they ran through that furniture. When I say ran through, baby, they ran through. They tore it up. And I paid $500 for them couches, so I was mad about that. And so, that was the first apartment, the Airbnb. The second apartment was my old apartment. 
it's like a luxury apartment in, in the Madison area, which is a good part of Huntsville. So I um I actually got a non-renewal. So they didn't let me renew my lease for some reason. And I think it's because they was over here snitching because I work at my house. That's why I wanted to slap the hoe. But um that's why I <laughs>